Uh, hello guys, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Uh, well, I am Ramon, I am product manager from the Star office and uh, well, I will give you an introduction about our Star team, about our products and of course uh, our Accelerate partner program and what benefits you can get from signing up as our registered partner in, you, in the US. Um, well, first of all, we will take a few minutes to look uh, at our company and know something about Yaystar. Um, what to know about Yaystar? Um, before we actually get started with today's webinar, there are three things I'd like you to know first. Um, first of everything, we are a designer and a manufacturer of VOIP products. That is to say, all products you buy from Alloy uh, with Yaystar brand on it, they are all designed and manufactured by us here in China. Uh, we don't do, uh, you know, we don't buy any other uh, equipment from other brands and put on uh, our own brand. You know, we don't do OEM from uh, from other products. Everything is designed and manufactured by us, and we have a uh, over 100 uh, people R&D team. So they are all here to maintaining and upgrade our products according to your requirements and of course the the demands of the market so we keep improving our products to make sure it is it will suit you and uh, we we'll offer you the best com uh, competitivity you need and our global appearance well we will be talking about that a little bit later first of all uh, we'd like you to know, we'd like you to see how we evolved uh, through time. So we are, uh, our company established in 2006, so we, now we have 11 years uh, uh, working in the VOIP industry and that is all we do through this 11 years. From this form, you will see how we evolved our and upgrade our equipment. So now we're from so in the, in the year 2006, we have our first equipment products. That's a simple voice board. Then we have our first generation PBX, IP PBX. That is our U series. Now uh, we don't do this anymore, but uh, we have put all years experience and the hard works and into our new second generation PBX, which is what you will get from Alloy uh, here as you see in this form in uh, last year we have the S series PBX published and this is the major uh, the, the main products that we are going to talk about today and of course we have other equ equipments that you can that you might need like gateways uh, well you possibly you will possibly be you will possibly need gateways in many occasions uh, when you are setting up a telephone system for customers so we really have them all and as I have said, everything is designed and manufactured by us. And uh, well, we are headquartered in China, uh, in Xiamen, which is a uh, very beautiful island in China. And uh, we also have a office in Dallas. Uh, so we will surely offer uh, local uh, service and technical service in. Uh, for the US market. Uh, but we will be talking about that a little bit later. So now we have over t uh, 100,000 enterprise users all around, all around the world using uh, A-Star products. And we have over 100, uh, we have uh, partner channels in over 100 hundred countries. So we're not only offering products from China to or for China or for the US, we are really offering for the whole world. Uh, well this will surely give us a lot of ages because uh, we can uh, receive information requirements from all around the world. Uh, we know how people use PBX all around the world and with that we will surely bring you uh, new things, new stuffs. And uh, okay so I promised I won't waste your time with a company introduction. Um, uh, that's all I have to say about our team. We are established in 2006. We are headquartered in Xiamen, China, and uh, VOIP industry. VOIP is all we do. We, we design and manufacture VOIP products. Okay, 
now let's get into product introduction. And uh, well, this is the biggest uh, part for today's webinar. And first of all, we will be talking about our major product line, that is our IPPBX product line. Uh, that's, as I have said, in uh, 2006, we have published our first generation uh, PB, IPPBX, that's our U series. Uh, well, that's, we've been working with this U series for years. We have gained a lot of experience on that. And of course, we have a lot of regretments because there is a lot of things we want to do to improve, uh, to strengthen these products, but we cannot because of the limitation of hardwares and softwares, but now we can have every all of the all of our uh, ideas realized in S series PBX. That's our new uh, second generation S series, uh, our, our new generation IPPBX, and uh, I will show you uh, what we have done on this thing. Um, First of all, you will see this form. Okay, these are the four models we offer for uh, S-Series PBX. Uh, the smallest one is S20, uh, which offers a 20 users and 10 concurrent costs. So this equipment is really for uh, Soho users. You know, they have, uh, it's very suitable for a company uh, from 20 to 30 uh, employees. You know, that's our smallest model. And then we have S50, which is provided to for uh, bigger organizations or companies, uh, which uh, include 15 users and 25 concurrent calls. So that means you can register 50 uh, extensions to this equipment. And then we have S100 and S300. These are the equipments we offer for uh, uh, our enterprise users for bigger companies. Uh, with S100, uh, it support up to 200 extensions and 60 concurrent costs. And uh, S300 can support up to 500 users and 120 concurrent costs. So these are the market, uh, these are the end users we cover. So organizations, smaller organizations from 10, 20 to 500 extensions. Um, not all companies need uh, one phone for each people, so each employee. So uh, the company size, uh, the, uh, the range of company size is actually a little bit wider than the range of number of users we show in this form. Um, but uh, you, will see the, you will see our ideas, our target market are the yes are what are what we call uh, SMB. We surely love this market. And if you um, have end users who are SMB and require a, a enterprise level quality for their uh, telephone system, uh, our our products will be very suitable for them. Okay. Here we have uh, all important parameters shown in this form. Uh, I believe you will see more detailed information uh, because our friends uh, from Aloy will surely offer you as much as they can, uh, including all those data if you're interested. Uh, so here I won't spend uh, too much time on talking about all those numbers, you know, codex. Oh, okay, that can be very boring. Um, all I have to say is, from your from this form, you can see our S100 and S300 are expandable equipments. That is to say, um, a basic equipment as shown in this form, the S100 will offer you 100 users and 30 concurrent calls. But if you want to expand the system, you can have up to 200 users and 60 concurrent calls. And so is S300, which offer you only 300 users and 60 concurrent calls with a basic equipment. But if you like, you can expand your system uh, to one, 500 users and 120 concurrent calls. OK. Um, so. Uh, these are expandable system, but I'd like to emphasize here that we don't realize this through license. Um, we love the very idea 
that we earn from the system expansion. Uh, this is great business opportunity for us and for our partners. Uh, we surely know that we need to make sure our partners can earn from you know, system expansion. But we don't like licensing. We don't think that's uh, the best way. So we find another solution, and we are pretty excited about that. Uh, but we will be talking about that a little bit later in this webinar. Um, other things I like to talk about here is, as you see, we support video uh, here. We have all video codecs uh, shown in this form. That means if you like to use uh, video function, video related functions like your VC system, like uh, your video IP phones, or even your uh, IPC, uh, you can all have them connected to the RPBX and uh, well, the video will be uh, the, video data, the video data package will be passing through and uh, uh, dealt uh, with, without any problem at all, as long as those equipments support same video codecs as we do. Okay. Um, one last thing I like to mention here is well, you see um, the number of voicemail we supported here in this form. And they are all expandable. So if you like, um, you can expand your the system storage with uh, other equipments like with TF card, with SSD, with SD cards, with USB, with SSD, uh, with SSD you, know, uh, you know, external hard drive, internal hard drives. We all support that on different models. So. Um, this will surely offer you more uh, space to, you know, put in your uh, recordings, your call logs, and at the same time, it's not stored in the flash. It will surely ensure the stability of the system. And uh, as I have said, our friends Loy here will be offering you more detailed information about all those stuffs. Okay, and uh, when we have talked about uh, the equipments, and uh, now you have a very a clearer view over uh, the four models that we offer. And of course, uh, we, here we have put the trunks that we supported. You no, know, and uh, well, if you uh, if you must know, we have uh, we, we support you know BC, PSTN, analog, BRI E1, PRI E1, and of course mobile trunks in our equipments. Okay. And uh, so that means uh, you can use our equipment in most cases because you know when you install a PBX for your end users, um, they are very likely to have uh, their uh, some frustrament uh, in the equipment that is to from uh, uh, from service providers that they possibly. Uh, out of date, like uh, they possibly have A1 lines that they used to use, but uh, well, they don't want to know. But they don't want to uh, just throw it away because well, the 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 service provider won't just you know tear up the contract. So um, we offer we can support all kinds of lines, so they can put all of their. Uh, uh, all, all of their existing uh, investments in good use. Okay, and uh, well, now let's talk about the uh, the characters of our uh, S series PBX highlights. Uh, first of all, we want you to know that it is a ex totally expandable system. Well, you already see from our form that all of the equipment, uh, uh, that, that, sorry, the S100 and S300 are expandable. And this is how we realize this. So we have said that we don't like license because uh, well, more often than ever, uh, your customers, your end users don't really like licensing uh, because they kind of feel that you know, they've been robbed because they have already bought the equipment, the, the, the equipment is in their office already, but they cannot uh, get the full capacity here. Um, so our solution here is this D30 module. So with this little module you installed on your motherboard, you will have one, you have additional 100 extensions 
and 30 concurrent calls. And you can install that on either S100 and or S300. As I've said, it's a very small chip. You put on your equipment to get uh, all those extensions and uh, concurrent calls. So in S100, as I have said, you can install one D30 and uh, well, besides the basic extensions you will have, the expansions and the concurrent calls you will have, a great expansion, you can double the capacity, it, it will make your system uh, a much bigger ways. 200 extensions and 60 concurrent calls. And with S300, you can actually install two D30 cards. So that means you will have in total 500 users and 120 concurrent calls. So uh, why we do this? Um, well, because we want to increase our competitivity while guarantee the margin, the profits uh, for our partners. But while you buy a product with licensing, you know, uh, the cost of the hardware is already included in the price. You know, they cannot change that. They just charge some additional prices uh, with the licensing, you know, because manufacturer won't just uh, give you free stuff, right? So even though you are not buying the, actually buying this, you know, the price is already included in this equipment. And uh, well, either the customer need, needs, need, needs it or not, well, they already pay for assure you that. But we don't want to do this because this will decrease the flexibility with price or with our prices and in fact will squeeze the margin of our uh, partners. So what we do here is offer this D30 cards which is a uh, separated piece of hardware. You can choose to uh, install it or do not install it uh, upon uh, customer's requirements. So the cost will not be uh, included into the equipment by default. And you can actually charge your equipment, uh, charges, uh, uh, charge your customer for it as much as you like because we'll, there will be, be, there will include, you know, the communication, uh, the cost of uh, communication and the cost of the hardware itself. And so we believe it will also is a very great way to you know make sure that you earn enough from you really you can really earn uh, uh, from a system expansion and uh, do any business possibility or possible or, or uh, uh, with this equipment and also other than it's expandable it's also a customizable equipment. Um, we will show you how. So what we make sure here is that we offer you two kinds of expansion cards. One we call it EX30 card, the other we call EX08 card. And what they do here is they offer interfaces on the PBX according to your requirements. So uh, that means and EXOA cards, as you, as you see in this slide, they offer you eight RJ11 ports. Oh, sorry, eight RJ11 ports. So if you need, you can put in at most three EXOA card in your S300. And the EX30 card will offer you one E1 port. So you can just install corresponding card into the equipment to customize the equipment uh, as you need. So uh, we we'll, we'll take S300 as an example here. So you can put in two uh, EX30 cards to have two E1 ports or you can have all E1 ports that's totally depend on you. And of course if your customer needs use only IP phones or SIP trunks then they don't need any other interfaces. So you can just buy a basic equipment with no uh, expansion cards at all and uh, you know the front panel will be all blank, no interfaces. Okay. Um, this is pretty good. This is pretty cool because your customers can really you can really customize this equipment according to the case you get. And on this EXOA card, we also offer you five kinds of modules to offer you different kinds of ports. Like 
is here we have a S2 more to more to the green one, uh, which will offer you two FXS ports. So that means you install this port, you install this module on the EXOA cards. You will have. You can actually customize how do you like to, what kind of ports are those RJ11 ports. They can be FXS ports, they can be FXO ports, they can be as BRI ports, which I believe you do not use in the US. And of course, if you like, you can also insert SIM card into the module and have mobile trunks in your PBX. So everything here is customizable. You can just put those uh, modules on the expansion cards and as on S100 and S300 and you know you can just uh, give your customer exactly what they need. If they need like for example five, uh, uh, five, XF, uh, five XSO ports with, uh, that's okay. You can give them uh, equipment with five FXSS ports and uh, five XSO ports and nothing else. And of course um, that's uh, the expansion card is uh, also uh, available on S100 and on S300. Uh, so on S100 you can uh, have two expansion cards and on S300 you can have three S uh, three expansion cards. And uh, in our smaller modules, the S20 and S50, though the RJ11 ports is already fixed. Uh, in the equipments, you can also install different kinds of modules uh, that we have for. Uh, you can have them uh, integrated to your system. You can also customize what kinds of ports you need on S20 and S50. Uh, well, this is what we offer with the expansion cards and the different kinds of modules. So we'd like you to be really sure about how or what we are doing here. Um, the reason why we do this is, you know, because um, as we have, uh, first of all, this will offer you the technical flexibility to offer your your customers exactly what they need. And you know, sometimes uh, the requirements of the of end users can be very specific. And uh, will it take some time to find the perfect product for them? And more importantly, uh, if you can, with this, all those modules, all those uh, expansion cards, well, the price of this equipment is really can really be very flexible because when you use the hardware, you have to include the price in the. Uh, you have to in, uh, include the cost in this price, but if you do not use it, use it, well, you can just give them a basic equipment. You know, everything is flexible while it can, as I have said, guarantee the margin of our partners. You know, because it we um, more often than ever, you have to um, adjust your price because you know, uh, there are other, I uh, guess you got competitors in the market, but well, this those expansion cards will make sure that you know uh, you can more uh, current, uh, you can more accurately uh, control the cost of each equipment you offer. And uh, okay, um, that's all I have to say about you know the hardware, the hardware structure of the equipment, and now let's take some time to talk about features and functions. This is very important. So other than uh, changes we have made on the um, on our hardware, uh, we have added a lot of new features, new functions. Uh, we try, we really try to expand new ways to use, explore new ways to use our our PBX. And uh, well, here are some ideas we have. And uh, if you get a demo, you will see. And first is an app center. Um, because our all of our equipment is based on asterisk, I haven't mentioned this earlier. I think it's very important. So I say it here: all of our equipment is based on asterisk, and our S-series PBX, this product line is based on asterisk 
13. So not only the hardware is uh, modularized, the software is also modularized. So this is how we make this possible. Um, App Center. So this is basically, as I have show, I have said in this slide, a repository of all non-core functions such as LDAP and auto provision. And so these are non-core. Uh, non-core uh, functions, so they, they are not like things like, you know, dial plans, routing rules, which is the basic uh, core function of a PBX. These are non-core functions, but they are very important, and especially uh, functions like auto-provision, it requires constant maintenance and upgrade because, you know, IP phone provide, IP phone manufacturer always uh, come up with new uh, modules, new products. We need to keep up their pace. So it requires uh, a lot of work here. So we put out of our, all of those these kind of features like auto provision and LDAP, these are only two examples here in this app center. So you can we so you can just upgrade and download and upgrade them separately. So oh so um, if you need you can just get into our app center and decide if you like to upgrade uh, the auto provision uh, uh, or not. So if you have uh, if you don't use the newest IP phones, perhaps you don't need to upgrade them, uh, uh, which will surely decrease the risk uh, that come up while you, you know, uh, upgrade the whole firmware. And of course, if you want, you can just, as I have said, upgrade them separately and do not touch the, the stable firmware you already have. Uh, in your system. And of course, other than that, we have other features, uh, other uh, we call applications uh, in this app center. For example, we have our, we have, we, we have third party integration in this app center. So if you want, if you need to use them, you can get a, a trial version uh, from the app center. And of course, uh, we have our own uh, modules uh, in this in this app center as well. So as you see in this slide, we have uh, a hotel a, a hotel system. We have billing system. Uh, we have client module. Uh, all of those uh, uh, all of those applications developed by us is also included in the app center. And when we have third party integration, uh, like with PMS with CRM and our call center kit, they all are, they all will be included in the app center. Some of them will be free, some of them will, will won't be free, but, uh, uh, but uh, they will, we will have that uh, all in the app center for you. Okay. Um, okay, I, okay, I have mentioned auto provision. Um, these are the brands that we supported, that we support for now. So as you see, we support Yealink, we support Snom, we support Cisco, Grandstream, Polycom, Tech, Fanview, and VTech. So all of those phones are supported uh, by our PBX. Uh, so whichever one is important to you, we probably always already uh, support that. These are the major brands. Uh, that you can find in the in the in, in the market, and we also uh, we are also working on other brands to make sure that uh, you can use our equipment while you know auto automatically configure the IP phones, and uh, we also support uh, customized. Uh, 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 customized uh, configuration files. That means uh, sometimes you have your own phone, your IP phones, and it is not uh, supported in our equipment. But you, but when your customer uh, needs you to set up the the, the system, uh, you can just. Uh, manually upgrade the configuration files to our PBX and apply it for uh, auto provision, and that's also okay. We also support that. Um, okay. Um, other uh, other other functions that we like to talk about is uh, third-party integration. Um, we are currently working on CRM, and uh, you all know how often 
a company use CRM. Um, of those three brands that we have mentioned here, Sugar, Sugar is already uh, supported. Uh, we are working uh, with Sugar. Uh, our sales team actually is using Sugar in our uh, office with our own PBX, and that works totally fine. And uh, we are currently our uh, R&D team is currently working working with VTiger and Zoho, and uh, well, they will be ready pretty soon. So. With a, if you integrate RPBX with CRM, uh, what they do here is, as you see, uh, first of all, you can manage calls directly from CRM. So you can just click to call. So you can just click one of your uh, contacts from your CRM, and uh, the system can just uh, make out uh, make a phone call through your PBX and your desk uh, and your desktop phone. And of course, one of your customer who is one of the your clients who is registered in the CRM, if they make a phone call to the PBX, and uh, you pick up the phone call, and a window will just automatically pop out, uh, including all information about this customer, like whatever you have put in uh, in your CRM system, like uh, what orders have they made, what topic you are currently uh, discussing about, discussing about uh, all of those information will pop up in your computer. Uh, once you integrate your uh, CRM with our PBX. And of course, we have a call center kit. Now, call center is very, very, uh, very important uh, in many markets. And uh, to be honest, we try to make our own call center kit, but it's not entirely successful because call center management is a very, very professional field. And it requires uh, a lot of years dedication and hard work on that. But we do not want to spend too much energy because we are, we are not uh, because we need to focus on our VOIP products. So uh, what we do here is we do co-branding with a very good, uh, with, very, with a very good uh, call center kit which is called, uh, called Q-Metrics. Uh, well, we do co-branding with them. You can find their application, you can find the Q-Metrics in our app center. And if you need, you can get free trials directly from our PBX, and uh, you can just you know pay uh, to get a permanent version. Uh, Qmetrics is very it is very great. Uh, you can have them both on, uh, on cloud or in your local server. Uh, they can you can integrate that with your PBX system. You know t so you can have a totally working call center with uh, in your within your customers' company if that's what they really need. And uh, uh, this is our call center kit. I believe it can help you a lot. And of course, uh, hotel solution. Uh, if you have hotel customers, um, most of hotels, bigger hotels, they will require um, a professional PMS. And that's basically the same as uh, the call center kit. It's a rather uh, professional and uh, also for hotels, uh, hotels are a pretty closed business. They are very standardized, they are very matured, so everything have to uh, everything everything have to follow, have, 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 have to fall in right into their standard. Otherwise it's not good for them. So um, we decide, we think it will be best if we can uh, integrate to the PMS uh, that is already out there rather than making one ourselves. So um, the first thing we do here is char. Uh, char is a integration uh, is a integration uh, program that is specialized in integrate uh, at risk to uh, PMS and uh, we've been working really hard on that and it's uh, been great for us. So, um, well, I surely know that in different markets, people use different kinds of this kind of integration program. Char is not very popular in the U.S. This is the example we have for now. Uh, if you really, if you have hotel customers, and uh, you need to integrate your uh, 
PMS, you integrate their PMS to the telephone system. Um, well, we can surely work on that. Uh, we just need to uh, know what it is, and uh, we will be we are willing to uh, offer you uh, a a solution on uh, the integration with hotel PMS with uh, the program they use. And of course, uh, other third-party integration will be ready soon. We are currently working, as I have said, on a lot of things. Um, now let's talk about some other cool functions, cool features that we have on on the uh, PBX system. Okay. Um, Uh, so first thing, uh, uh, first, first features that I want to talk about here for this part is multiple terminal on one extension number. Um, this is also called what we call a SIG forking, uh, technically you know, speaking. Uh, so this means um, the, the number of extensions is limited in our system, you already see that, but you can actually register multiple uh, terminals on one extension number. So, uh, well, you see here, with one extension number, you can actually register five SIP equipment uh, to this uh, extension number. So, SIP with SIP equipment actually means you know your IP phones, uh, your your laptop with a soft phone, uh, your mobile phone with a soft phone. So all those equipments can be registered to one extension number and they will have equal access to all phone calls made to this extension. And they can all be used to make phone calls through this extension number. So if you really think about it, you can actually have you can actually have uh, really a lot more equipment than you can expect it, and of course, as the uh, your mobile phones also can share the same extension number. That means if you are not in the office and someone actually call your uh, extension number, as long as you have a soft phone and have this your smartphone registered to this extension number as well, you can really uh, you know just make this to just answer this phone call where wherever you are with your smartphone. And you can also make phone call through PBX where you are with the usual extension number you use for a desk phone. And of course, if you like, you can have your IP phone in your house uh, registered to the same extension number. You know. So you won't miss any phone call wherever you are in any status. Um, and as we support RJ11 ports in the equipment, you can also register an additional analog equipment to the same extension number. So at most, extension can uh, can can support up to five SIP, SIP terminals and one analog equipment. So six in total. Uh, that's uh, in condition of having. Uh, uh, having RJ11 ports directly on your PBX. And the security is also very important. We are surely aware of that because you know, fraud calls is a big issue nowadays. And as long as you have open interface uh, to the public network uh, in your PBX, you will have, uh, the risk is you know, there. You cannot ignore that. And we'd like to do all we can to you know, decrease the risk because well, with a PBX, if you want to fully use it, uh, you, will, you, prob you, you will probably need to have, uh, inter uh, have your PBX connected to the internet. Uh, so for this occasion, we have a built-in firewall and auto defense system in the system, in our PBX. So a building firewall is, uh, I will explain it. Um, uh, well, uh, well, it's quite technical, but I like to explain it, explain it a little bit. Um, so normally, according to uh, our default settings and, uh, you know, uh, well, general common knowledge, uh, on the internet and the VIP industry, uh, by default, a call will go through uh, UDP 5060. 
ports. That's the only port they probably need. They, they need for uh, phone calls and uh, well, they uh, also sorry sorry. Um, they use uh, one port, uh, the 5060 for uh, SIP uh, registration and uh, uh, and the RTP uh, 10,000 to 12,000 for data stream. So these are the only ports you actually use when you want to processing uh, a a call through SIP. Um, but a hacker will just find any loophole in your system and uh, you know get into and, and use it to get into your system so um, the best way here is to you know really uh, block all ports and the only the ports you like to use this will significantly uh, decrease the possibility of being hacked so this is what building firewall is so you can just in building firewall you can just leave the uh, the, the, the two ports that I've just mentioned or if you have ten ports that's also okay uh, you can you, you use them uh, you just leave them open and uh, block all other ports uh, this will offer you very great protection and of course we have auto defense this is our uh, our medically uh, def our medical defense mechanism so with this features uh, the system will supervise all the data package sent and received and if there is uh, suspicious actions like sending too much data package in too short time um, from one IP address, then this IP address will be directly blocked um, by the system. So the uh, system will reject any uh, requirements to get access from this very IP address. This is our auto defense. With those two uh, features, we uh, we believe we can uh, very we can very we can make sure that your system is safe. But if that's not enough, we also support VPN. Our PBX can also be used as a VPN client or a VPN server. That means you can if you don't want to, you don't really need. A third-party, you know, VPN service, or you buy your own, you know, VPN server. You can just build in this. You can just use the building VPN server in our PBX and set up your own VPN network for your telephone system. This will, this will really, really secure uh, your system. Uh, one thing I need to I need to uh, clarify here is that our our PBX cannot work as a router. Uh, it's not a router, uh, so that means uh, you, if you like to use these features, you will have to put a router before your PBX. Uh, but uh, you, you, as I have said, um, it can work as a VPN server and a, or a VPN client if you do this. Okay, uh, this is our VPN, and uh, another cool little features we have made in our SPBX is AutoClip. Uh, well, AutoClip, as we uh, explain here, is really record original extension. So, I will explain this with an uh, example. You know, uh, for example, you make a phone call to one of your customers with your PBX, you know, with your desk phone, and naturally, the caller ID they receive their customer receive from their mobile phone is the trunk with which you make. Uh, your phone call, right? But whenever they want to call you back, well, they will you know find this number and call you back. But this, as I have said, this is a trunk in your company. You know, very likely, this call will be not sent to you directly. It will be dropped to an IVR, perhaps, um, or to the front desk. That's uh, if they're lucky enough, right? So. Um, it will be very hard for uh, your customer to find you directly again. Um, what AutoClip what, what Auto do here is to make it possible when your customer call back, the system will notice that and direct this call directly to the extension who make the very original phone call uh, despite of any uh, down plan standing inbound call rules in this PBX. They will, the system will just ignore all that and send this call 
directly to your extension. Uh, I believe I have explained, it, explained this uh, very uh, clearly. Uh, if you have questions, you have doubts, you can just you know uh, leave a message, leave me a message in the web, in the go to webinar, and we will be uh, answer your questions uh, a little bit later. So we are done. Okay, and one last thing I like to talk about here in about our per the Linkcast application. This is the phone application that we make, especially for our S series PBX. This is uh, a Yaystar uh, phone application. Um, well, we um, actually it's not only a soft phone because other than making phone calls, we have a lot of a lot of features. Uh, well, you can check your voicemail with our with the Linkus app. You can uh, make record with this Linkus app and download the recordings with the Linkus app. You can actually in our uh, next version, you can actually initiate initiate a a conference call uh, through a Linkus application. So all those features can be has been integrated to make sure it's not just a soft phone. You know, it can be way do it can do way more than that. Um, but if you need, if you really want, you can actually have your own soft phone. You can have actually use third party soft phone. We still support that. Um, okay, I think that's all I have to say about our S series PBX. Um, we also have gateways. Well, gateways are pretty easy to understand because, you know, at Mo, in our biggest equipment, we support uh, 20, 24 RG11 ports at most and three E1 ports at most. Uh, in many cases, it's not enough. So this is why we have gateways. So in uh, well, you you will have to uh, offer uh, extra ex interfaces like for other trunks or for more analog phones to your system. That's what we support. Or, 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 or that's what we support. Now we have from four to thirty-two FXS ports, analog gateways that we offer. That will offer interfaces for analog phones, and we have four to uh, sixteen FXO ports for your analog lines and uh, well, with 2G gateway, that's our uh, gateways that can integrate um, mobile trunks, that is to say SIM cards into your system. So you can make phone calls through SIM cards. And we have from one channel, that is one SIM card, to 16 channels. That is, you, that with that equipment, you can have at most 16 SIM cards into your system. And of course, we have E1 gateway. We have one port E1 gateway or two ports E1 gateway. If you need really need uh, E1 connection, E1 lines, and you don't have enough space in your PBX, you can use these gateways. You know, all gateways can be uh, connected to our PBX through our local network. And uh, well, the, the 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 configuration is is very easy. Okay, um, what we have done with the product lines, uh, we have gone nearly an hour now. I will talk, take a few minutes talking about uh, uh, the business part, the commercial part, uh, our, our, the, the business policy of our equipment, mainly uh, based on our Accelerate partner program. Uh, well, the Accelerate Partner Program is uh, the partner program that we have that we designed, uh, well, to make to make sure that we are connected to our partners, not only our direct partners but our resellers, so we can not only offer good products for you guys, but also offer uh, good uh, good supports and good services, and uh, at the same time. Uh, encourage you to promote our products. Well, uh, we are being totally, totally honest here. Um, so let's take a look at uh, this partner program. So first of all, this is a tiered program. Uh, we divide all our partners into five levels, associate, authorized, silver, gold, and uh, platinum. And, uh, well, all of our partners can uh, earn points to level up, but um, we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit later. Um, first of all, we'd like to emphasize that any uh, of our partners who has uh, officially signed the contract with us in the U.S. and uh, also uh, several uh, other documents to become a partner program, 
Budapik to come and our official registered partners uh, can uh, don't have they don't have to uh, pay anything uh, to get into this program. This is very important, and uh, only for uh, the partners who have signed up, uh, we offer certain uh, services uh, like we have mentioned here. Like we have straightforward distribution. That means all of the products you get from Alloy, we can guarantee that is strictly from uh, our factory to Alloy and to you guys. And of course, if you are not signed up to be a, uh, a partner program, then uh, where well, we can, well, as CSR, we won't offer you any technical support. So in the U.S. market, we, support, we offer second level technical support. We will talk a little bit more about that. And as a sign up partner, we will offer you uh, all free market marketing and instructional materials that you need. So with uh, marketing materials, we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, like brochures, uh, roll-ups, uh, little gifts that you can offer to your uh, clients or stuff like that. Uh, well, and also the informations you need, they are only for our partners. And of course, you can was as a partner as as a sign up partner, you can join our uh, training program and to be certified by A star. And uh, and uh, well, and uh, of course you can use your logos, uh, our logos and our brand in your uh, uh, in your, any of our materials that is also authorized. And of course, uh, the one of the uh, most important thing in our uh, in our partner program is rebate. Um, so uh, with partners uh, of different level, we offer uh, different kinds of rebate. Um, this the rebate is based on uh, 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 is based on uh, your orders, and uh, uh, it can be a withdrawal uh, any time you like uh, after 12 months. And this is very important. And uh, well, what we pay, we you, well, what we pay you is cash. So, well, there are uh, no other tricks, no other games. We directly pay you cash with this rebate. And of course, uh, well, when we, uh, we, we, you can also join our partner a demo program. That means um, uh, you will get uh, information in, uh, about our newly uh, published or about, about our roadmap uh, in advance. Uh, as our partners. Okay, um, first let's talk about a little bit about this technical support. Uh, technical support is very, very, very important in uh, our business and we are totally aware of that. As you know, we have an office in Dallas and we have technical support, local technical, so technical support in U.S. ready to offer you second level technical support. and. Um, uh, our friends law here will offer you uh, first of all technical support. Uh, I want you to uh, be very clear about this. And as long uh, will the local technical support assure that if uh, a lawyer decides to pass your case, we can respond very quickly. And even if it's out of business hour, our friend, uh, our uh, partner lawyer here can also pass to pass you to our China office. You know, in our China office, our technical support support here. Well, they are Chinese, but they speak very good English. But you can always contact us. Uh, to you, you can always contact us, and we will, we can also offer you help from China office in during uh, within business hours. So you are covered uh, most uh, most uh, 24 hours uh, of the day. So uh, you can have a very you can uh, be very uh, you can have a peace in mind about that. Um, we have a very good uh, technical uh, support system, and which we, I believe when you work together with us, you will uh, have, very, have a very good feeling about this. And free market marketing materials. Um, uh, well, with this marketing materials, as I have said, any of the informations, uh, uh, the posters, uh, the uh, some instructional materials will be available for all, for all of our 
uh, partners, including case studies. Uh, and as I have mentioned, if you have events, of course, we can uh, help you with uh, like brochures, uh, little gifts, like you know, gift bags, uh, um, pens, and this stuff. You know, um, all for, to make sure that, uh, or to help you with your promotion of EA Star. And uh, of course, if you are not partners, uh, you won't be able to get access to those things, and we won't offer you any information uh, from ASTAR. And of course, I have, we have mentioned our training program. Um, as long as you are a sign up partners, uh, we can offer you free online technical training. Uh, we also will, and uh, and also a exams. Uh, which, which if you pass, you can get a certification of different level. As you see, we have a three-level technical certification system. The first level, the basic level, is a certified technician, and the real, uh, that's the basic, uh, the, the, uh, that part we cover only basic configurations uh, for you to you know, install a PBX system, and then we have more complicated, more advanced uh, courses, uh, including uh, corresponding exams for you to take to get uh, certifications. And uh, well, as long as you pass, as I have said, as long as you pass this uh, uh, pass those uh, exams, you can always uh, get a, certif a certification. Uh, both, uh, the software version and, of course, if you need, uh, hard, uh, hard version is also uh, available. And uh, well, uh, if you are interested, and as an uh, sign up, uh, sign up uh, partners uh, of this partner program, uh, well, you can always contact academy at yastart.com to register uh, for our online courses. Uh, we mainly, we basically have uh, two runs of. Uh, basic courses online, and if you need higher higher levels, you can always contact us. Uh, well, for now, all of our online courses are free uh, for our uh, sign up partners in the U.S. And that's uh, well, that's our special policy for for the U.S. market. And uh, okay, so we've been talking uh, so much about our. Uh, Partner program, and then now I like to uh, talk about uh, talk a little bit about how to earn points, uh, how to level up in this partner program. We have five levels, and you can level up by earning more points. So the way to more points uh, are multiple. You know, so you can uh, you can earn points by your sales revenue. You can always you can also uh, earn points by your sales volume. So this makes sure that uh, well you can earn. A lot. You can earn, I don't know, uh, a lot of points by selling both bigger equipments or smaller equipments. That's all right for us. Uh, so sales volume, revenue, and sales volume amount will be all be considered into the, uh, into the system. And of course, um, if you earn certificate, if you get our A star certifications, you will earn uh, points. And of course, uh, if you get our demo units. The main point, and uh, well, marketing is also very important. Uh, any actions like you know working with us for uh, working with us on a partners event, uh, putting our uh, you know products and or logos in your websites, or you know any uh, anything that you work with us uh, to you know, promote uh, our brand, ASR and uh, our products will you know. Earn points, and uh, well, you will see detailed uh, rules about how to earn points uh, in our uh, service our services .yastart .com. and this is also only for our uh, uh, for our partners in the U.S. That's uh, exclusive, exclusively for our partners in the U.S. Uh, for now. Okay, uh, if you need more information about uh, the partner program. Uh, you can always contact uh, uh, Angela, and we, here we have her, her mail and uh, her phone. Uh, her phone number. Uh, she is our sales representative uh, in the U.S. And she will. She can explain uh, more. Uh, she can explain to you uh, with more details 
and about this accelerated partner program. And of course, uh, you know, uh, our friends Aloy from Aloy here can you know work with you uh, to make and to uh, and to to help you uh, earn more points. Okay. Uh, I think that will be all for today's webinar. Thank you so much uh, for your participation. Um, that's all I have to say. Uh, so uh, I believe we will be uh, taking questions a little bit later. Uh, so now uh, let's pass to uh, uh, our, our, our colleagues at Aloy. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Ramon. That was fantastic. Now, if you do have any questions, if you can just raise your hand through the panel on the GoToWebinar application, and I can unmute you, and you can you can fire away. And just while we're waiting for for that, if you do have any other questions about stocking and pricing or anything like that, please do feel free to contact Brandon or Richard in the Alloy US office. Um, they're always happy to to help you out. All right, so it doesn't look like we do have any questions. All right, Ramon, you must have um, done too good a job and nobody needs to answer any questions. All right, uh, well, with that, we'll... Um, no, yeah, you go, Ramon. Yeah, uh, so guys, if you have any questions, well, you can always ask us uh, here in this webinar, of course. And uh, well, if there's anything you'd like to know, you can always contact uh, you know, our colleague, Elo here. They will you know, help you with all, any, all informations uh, about our products. Okay, thank you, Ramon. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Okay, thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.